shit. Hello everyone, since we're out here, and we're back with another video. This one being Lush Foil Photography Simulator. This is actually the demo for the full game. And as you can tell, the demo already looks fucking amazing. It really is a rather simplistic game of you are. Press left alt for help. Controls. Okay, sprint, shift, look, mouse. Given that it's a photography sim, I assume we are taking photographs while exploring these lovely environments. It really is a beautiful and serene environment. It's very lovingly crafted and detailed. Oh, we have houses and bridges over there, so this looks like an entire map we're able to explore. I can see why it would have taken so long to uh, to create. Would you like to run? Quick rundown of camera controls. Yeah, let's do that real quick. Zoom in and out by using wheel. Uh, left control is for portrait and landscape. Gotcha. E to adjust shooting angle. Interesting, okay. Press right draw focus. Right click to draw focus. Alright. And then... Bam. Alright, so... I don't know if there is view photos from your main menu by pressing P. Alright, easy. Is there a given objective, or is it simply we're walking around these environments and taking photographs of whatever it is we want? I guess we'll see. Very cool, very neat. Okay, let's go see what all we can find, what all we can take a photograph of. What is this? I can't read that. But I guess we'll go this way. Up this rocky hill. Nice little stream running through. Alright, I don't think we can change out of uh, 480p. They do have options for 4K, but it seems to be auto-selected and defaulted to 1080, and it will not let me unfortunately change it, which might just be an issue or a limitation of the demo. They don't have everything in 4K just yet. Not able to do that. All right. I guess let's just keep walking and see where we end up. See what wonderful sights we can uncover on this first map. And as you saw from the scrolling wheel, there are several several maps still coming. So I wonder what exactly will be in store here. I guess if you're really into photography, something slower, easy pace, the demo is free, so I would highly encourage you just from this little snapshot to check it out yourself. See what amazing photographs and angles and shots you're able to uncover. How far exactly am I able to lean for that? Not super far, okay. I guess we make our way down towards the shore. So let's head this way. Field walk falls. I hope this is not copyrighted. What is this? Oh, other photographs people have taken. These are nice. love that. Oh, we only have 20 minutes to roam around, I just realized for the demo. Should 
shit. Okay. Um, let's bro go across the bridge, I guess. I crouch down. No? Okay. This is unfortunate. Okay, I wish they could add a crouch feature, that would be great, um, to get some more interesting shots. Very cool. Alright, enough goofing around, let's keep exploring, see what else is in store. For us here with this beautiful map. Alright. I wonder if it's 20 minutes per map or just 20 minutes total and then we get kicked out. Are we able to, to relaunch and replay 20 or is it just the flat 20 and then and then we're permanently done until the full game releases? Both, I mean, wouldn't shock me. It wouldn't shock me if it's 20 minutes and then we're just we're just kind of done for the time being. Oh, an available bridge here. Where are we able to go? I don't like the one we saw. Are those objectives we have to do? Are those things we have to photograph? I guess that makes sense. I know the church was one. Was the church one? Or are there like specific angles we have to hit? Okay, it was that one. Okay. I don't know what the other ones were. Shit. We're wasting time here. Let's run back real quick and we can see what it is specifically we need to take photos of. I didn't even realize that. That makes sense. That's why they're there. I just thought they were examples of... Hey, look at all these cool things you're able to do in this game. All these cool photographs you're able to take. But I was sadly mistaken. I mean, odds are it's both. But points of interest that we're needing to snap photos of in the given time. Okay, the sun's not actively moving. All right. I mean, that'd be a cool way to rationalize having a time limit for the game. Just stating, hey, you're in the golden hour for these photos. You need to snap photographs of them before... Did I pass it? Where the fuck is it at? Oh, it's right here. Um, you have this much time before you lose the proper light, so... Okay, they're gone now. So now I need to find these other locations. Wherever the hell they are, and take photographs of them. Um, well... 
I guess that encourages exploration. Where might that one be? Hmm. A good, good question. Alright, let's run into the forest. Maybe there's something here we need. One of them is a forest path, but I don't know specifically what we need. Is it this right here? That looks roughly correct. It is, okay. That's another one down. So we need a bridge, a cabin, and some rocks somewhere. I assume if we run this way, we'll eventually wind up where we need to be. Rocks, the rocks, rocks. The rocks one's probably gonna be hard to find. That's so small in comparison. But really, there is no guidance. You're just kind of left to wander around and look at the photograph and say, okay, is that roughly what we need to get or, or not? Oh shit, pausing does not stop the timer. Okay, so yes, it is just a demo timer. Let's run back real quick. So again, given that we only have 20 minutes, I would 100% encourage you to just grab this on your own and try it. Go a different direction, find different places, points of interest. I mean, part of it seems to be exploration. Part of it seems to be finding your own photographs along the way. And some of it seems to be finding points of interest as well. How do we get over to that staircase? Or can we? path right there. I don't think we can. Someone tells me we can't. That sucks. I kind of wanted to go over there. Or is it right here? Nope. Okay. Can't go up the staircase. Just wasting time. I think that's ca that cabin is one we need. Let's run over there real quick. Can we go inside buildings? Still, for a map this large, it is quite, quite detailed. Props to the developers for putting a lot of time, effort, hard work into crafting this beautiful game. I can't tell if that's part of the music or background ambiance. That thumping sound. Huh. A very big building. I believe, though, that is one of our photos we need to take. I don't get anything for it. Maybe we need to be closer? Where am I going? Okay, that's another one down. We have, what is it? One, we have two more, the rocks and some kind of walkway. Wherever that might be. Walkway though, looks like it's nestled, nestled up against some rocks. But I don't know specifically where that might be. Over here maybe? Maybe not. God, it is so serene. Wait, it does have that in the background. Where could it be? Hmm. I think it might be over here somewhere. Because we need that, like shape of the mountain where like the white lines curve and the one singular white line runs down we need that in the background so it's got to be somewhere nearby where exactly i don't know maybe 
navy up ahead. Over here, maybe? No, now I feel like we're too close than before. Where could it be? Where could it be? I don't think I see it anywhere. No, maybe we went the wrong way. Is there any cool rocks, though? Rock formations anywhere? No? Alright, well... What about up here? What do we got? Anything at all? Maybe this is it. This is it, I think. Alright, cool. Then... One might assume the rocks are going to be somewhere nearby. Fields, R-R-S-T. I really hope that these aren't copyrighted. box. What's this? What was, what was that? Is that a secret? Oh, we got butterflies. Oh, cool. All right, so I guess we need to keep a lookout for, for boxes and stuff too. Let's see what else there is. Alright, looking for some cool rocks. It looks almost like on a shoreline, maybe. Or on the river. Maybe back in that rocky area. We might have just glanced over completely. And given that we only have six minutes, that might just be our only hope that it's there. Looks like there's a stream behind it, so maybe along the stream. Oh, here's a box. How do we get to the box? By simply walking to it. Another one, okay. Any cool rock formations that people have set up? Hmm. You seeing anything? Because I'm certainly not. I was around the wrong way. Keep going up this way then, see what we can we can find. Hmm. I don't see anything. What about up here? I do see a bench with something here. A paper airplane. Oh. What, what was that all about? Q? Two. <laughs> Whoa. What? Probably didn't turn out great, but I like the idea. So now we have paper airplanes. We're just, you know, littering the ground with paper airplanes. That wasted time, but that's okay. If we don't find the last one, it's not the end of the world. It is so bright. At least in this rocky area. The reflection of the lights off of the white rocks really is 
quite blinding. This is kind of the way we came. Hmm. Still don't see anything, though. Maybe we just won't find it. It looked like it would have been in this region. And if not, over by one of the rivers maybe. So it looked like it was in this area somewhere. Is there another stream? Yeah. But we've been here already. We ain't seen anything. So how do you want to spend our last two minutes? We know there are our unlockables. We know that there are little secret boxes hitting around. I really wonder what the, the boxes do. Maybe they add photo frames or effects or, or just collectibles to grab throughout your your journey. And then we have stuff like, you know, the paper airplanes that can add a more comedic or dynamic element to your shots of just following the, the life, the journeys of a single paper, paper airplane. Or maybe not. Maybe it's nothing at all. Well, we got about one minute left, and it looks like we stand no chance of finding the rock formation. What a shame. Who knows, maybe we'll stumble upon something. And maybe we won't at all. It looked like there was a little stream running through it, but I guess this will be our last one. Hmm. Actually, that might be on the lake shore somewhere. From the looks of it. With a shadow of a tree somewhere. Maybe somewhere nearby and we just completely glossed over it. Hmm. Like we're about out of time. All right, that was Lush Foil Photography Sim. That was at least the demo of it. It looks like the game has. A lot to it. Some replayability. Some... Oh! Can we go on other maps? Oh, we only have three minutes on those other maps. You know what? Let's do it. Let's check out the other maps real quick. It's three minutes, but... I think it's three minutes well spent. Alright, here we are. With our... Three minutes of time. Wow. Jeez, these maps are so unique and varied. Like, they really took their time to just plan everything out. Create these loving environments. Honestly, if it weren't for the water and some effects, this would almost look like real life. Like, we're getting to the point where some of these games really just do look so damn realistic. And a word for 
some elements that you can tell, like, okay, this is rendered. It looks real. It's crazy we're getting to that point. I mean, using stuff like Unreal Engine and active real-time when doing stuff like The Mandalorian just goes to show that these engines are getting so advanced and so good at mimicry. Mimicking everything we see. Now, obviously, there are things they don't do super well. They can't quite capture that that vibe of real life. They can't quite va uh, capture a human super well in high, high detail without it looking wrong. But we're getting there. And we got a little beach down here. Nice little private beach. What's this? A surf surfboard. Oh my god, are we surfing? Oh my god, we're surfing. We're out in the waters, guys. We're hitting the waves. <laughs> nice. What exactly do we do? Go get attacked by a shark or... We just roam around the coast. A city off in the distance, looks like. I guess that's it. All right, we have one more map. Let's look at that last one. And then that will be it for Annapurna Interactive's Lunchful Photography Sim. Now I'm really interested in seeing their other titles, what they have available um, all around. We did that. We did that. And of course, your progress isn't save. Ooh, in Kyoto, Japan. The first one was in South Tyrol, Italy. Tyrol. Uh, Lago di Braise, maybe. <laughs> Braise. Castle Rock Beach in Milap, West Australia. And then... Uh, Fushimi Inari Taishi Taisha and Kyoto Japan Taisha Kyoto Japan Kyoto Japan I probably mispronounced all of those things I wholeheartedly apologize I don't know these locations very well at all but it's very cool that we are hopping to these radically different environments Different times of day, too, and experiencing it. It looks like the next one is raining, too, so we get dynamic weather as well. Uh, going to a shrine, maybe? If someone could remind me, what are these arches called again? I keep forgetting. Love it. Here we go. Such a cool and lovely little pathway. What's this? Map of the mountain, maybe? I'm guessing maybe this is where the photographs you need to collect, the point of interest. This is likely where they'll be. Oh, there's a QR code here. Can I scan that? Let me just see if I can scan it real quick. blurry. I'm going to step back. Oh, I can. Why does it pop up? Oh, it's an actual map of the... It's an actual map of the, the mountain. That's where it takes me to. Huh, that's so cool. Let's hop around a little bit. See what we can find. Different pathways... Of the mountain and everything. So, that's so amusing with the use. Use that.
All right, everyone, remember your rule of thirds. Be very important for many things. Photography, drawing, good things to know. Man, I wish we had more time. So I guess the thumping, yeah, is part of the either music track or the ambience. Let's go all the way up. Oh, to a nice little swampy area. Oh, I guess that was one of the th things I need to take a photograph of. What do you know? What do you know? Keep going up and up and up. As fast as we can, let's see everything we can with the limited time we have. Now that, that is a shot to end on. Overlooking Kyoto. Alright, so this is Annapurna's Interactive's Lush Foil Photography Sim. At least all that we can play right now. We got a good 25 minutes on the map in Italy. We got a couple minutes in Australia and a couple minutes in Japan. I would highly, highly recommend you wishlist the game on Steam to grab it yourself. Honestly, definitely download the demo and try it out yourself. Go explore the area in Italy. Go explore the areas in Australia and Japan. You don't have a whole lot of time, but it is so worth the check out and to explore. There are many things I likely did not show. I 100% did not show. Collectibles in Italy we definitely didn't find. Um, other, like the little circle dot here thing, uh, points of interest you can use. Like we had the surfboard, we had um, the paper airplane. There's other things to interact with as well. There's also a QR code here in the corner. What does this take me to? Oh, it's to a link tree for lunch foil. Steam, Discord, um, environmental showcases and trailers, portfolios, dev updates on Twitter, TikTok, and website contact if you want to check those out. Otherwise, once again, this has been Lush Foil Photography Simulator. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, let me know your thoughts on the game, on the locations what you anticipate or hope to expect or see out of the full game, and download this uh, the demo yourself and wishlist on Steam 100%. Uh, otherwise, subscribe if you'd like to see more. I've been Sister Hearts, and I will see you in the next video.